As you will probably know by now, Alberto Contador is hanging up his wheels at the end of this year's Vuelta a España after an absolutely stunning career. But before he does it, we thought we'd take a look at his brand new Trek Imonda. Now, I'm not going to spend too long talking about the componentry and the sizing on his bike because you will have seen uh, Contador's bike from the Tour de France on the channel just a few weeks ago. Uh, but what I will point out is that he is using a full Shimano Dura Ace Di2 group set. I say that because I also said that 12 months ago on his previous bike when actually it was mechanical. And I never heard the end of it. He's got standard Shimano Dura Ace Di2 group set. Yeah. Uh, what I do want to talk about especially is of course the custom paint job of this bike uh, which is to celebrate Contador's various wins over the course of his career. So starting here on the seat stage we have a number of race names on both sides all of which of course Contador has won throughout his career. The Volta Espana, Pay Basco, Tour de France, Paris Nice on this side, the Giro d'Italia, Terreno Adriatico etc there on the other side. On the seat tube here at the back the trophy shapes for each of the Grand Tours. Of course, he has won all three of them uh, throughout his career. And then just in the front part of that, you can see the maps of the three countries, Spain, France and Italy. I do like the fact that Trek haven't gone too over the top with this bike. It's a fairly uh, matte, light grey finish here for the majority of the top half and a much more glittery, shiny, darker grey uh, for the bottom half as well. I think it looks rather neat. Uh, up towards the front on those one-piece handlebars and stems, it simply says Grande Alberto on the front of the bars. But what he'll be looking at, no doubt, throughout the Vuelta Espanyol, which is possibly my favourite part of the customisation of this bike, is the top cap. On there, it says attack till the end. And I have no doubt that is exactly what Alberto will be doing here at the Vuelta Espana. Written at the top of the down tube there uh, is Quera Espoda. Uh, I'm not particularly good at Spanish as you can probably tell from my pronunciation just then, but that means love is power. Now there's a modification here at the back. Uh, this is a race number holder which they have literally just stuck onto the frame itself, uh, but that does look quite neat I have to say and what also looks very neat and tidy is the bar tape at the front which was just pointed out to me uh, now the reason for that partly I think is the fact that there's no tape at the end uh, on the tops there and the reason for that is that they started wrapping the tape from the tops gone around around the hoods and down to the end of the drops now you don't normally see the bar wrap done that way because it means it normally wears out quicker because your palms are sort of pushing against the tape itself and away from the wrap but if you're at Alberta comes door and you've got full-time mechanics for you I guess you're going to get it replaced quite often anyway. Well all that leaves me to say is a huge thank you to Trek Segafredo for giving us some time with Alberto's bike and congratulations to Alberto for a thoroughly stellar career. Now let us know what you think about this custom Trek Imonda in the comments section just down below and if you haven't yet subscribed to the Global Cycling Network you can do so right now by clicking on the globe. Meanwhile two more Alberto Contador videos just down here is Matt's ride with him here at the Vuelta Espana a few years ago. Hilarious because Matt couldn't clip in after they stopped and just down here he teaches Matt how to climb. So if you'd like to climb like Alberto Contador just click down there.